there's the output of a test array of eight of those stupid cheap sun powers that I got recently and for comparison down there that is an existing string of six 327 watt sun powers so yeah it's actually outperforming them which well, that's 1,962 watts nameplate the one on top is 1,840 Although I think a good chunk of that is um, clouding effect and just because it's partially overcast slash hazy right now so the whole sky is diffusely lit and the temporary ray has a better view of the sky than the permanent one does. Also the permanent one is aimed more for morning generation and it is 1.57 p.m. right now. And here is the test array. Look, got eight of these all wired up in a single string. Just temporarily put them on these 335 watt BOID pieces of garbage, which were a huge waste of money. Because each of those BYDs is about a third dead. See, especially that one right there, that big burn spot in one of the cells. It's actually burnt through the back of the uh, module back sheet there. So yeah, it saved me about two thousand dollars. I've not gotten these stupid things because you know, waste of money. Which these ended up costing me about two thousand six hundred, factoring in U-Haul rental and an entire weekend of my time going to where these modules were and coming back, plus cost of hotel and blah 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 blah. blah. But uh. So these are performing a lot better. Yes, and of course these are also not made in China. I mean, granted these ones are Vietnam. It was made in Vietnam ostensibly, but probably with Chinese cells, so. Yeah. And these are the 327 watt modules that are being outperformed by the test array, but Actually, yeah, looking at the sun, it's like a 50 to 60 degree angle relative to the plane of the module. So that is not surprising that they are um, underperforming like that because it's, you know, a couple hours in the day past when the generation of these guys peaks. So, yeah.